that is the end of that. A rather short mission on this planet. It's Major What's His Face wanted us to go see him. Hello there. So we're at our destination now. And we need to have a word with the good major. Hopefully he's not too pissed at us for deciding to protect the mine rather than strike at the Empire. But I have a feeling he's not going to be overly happy. But what does he actually want? I secured our mine. The Empire will think twice before striking our workers again. Fantastic. We mustn't lose a drop of crush venom to the Empire. Wouldn't you agree, Major? Of course. Granted, the Imperial base won't likely be vulnerable again, but at least we have the miners on our side. Kuchuso Yomati. Chitoya Namki Noya. Joskanoi. Paguta Palko. Chopting Wampa. Lahagwa Kilia Joska. When our own attempts to process the crush venom failed, we were forced to find outside assistance. Be careful what you say to Broga. He's a very dangerous hut. Huts. Is there any other kind of hut? I mean, really, all huts are evil, really, as far as Sogi's concerned. Dealing with huts is never safe or wise. Let's just get this over with. Gagwachi ni oiga, na noyo opa kiza spina peropa. Na bizga kolbalia, bindi bondenya. Okay, and what is this about? No one has told me what the purpose of this meeting is. Wegi matako, nangise. An army of hot cartel droids are advancing on our factories. The three families are technically working with us without the permission of the hot cartel. The Empire has forced the cartel to label them traitors. I may have a plan, General. If you can draw the attention of the droids at the factory, my men can flank their army. Okay, but exactly how large of an army are we going to be dealing with? What will I be facing in the factory? Reports suggest the Hut Cartel is using every last battle droid they brought to Quesh. I'll leave this in your hands, then. Stop the droids. Protect any workers left inside the factory. Then report back here. Good luck. I'd better get the troops marching. Pudula Musta, Wobradi Tampio, Dukushi Wampa. Kopturia no Boto to Anawangi, Slaymo. Oya Dukatanga. No, thank you. I don't think so. And in any case, I think we're actually done on quest. I'm not actually going to complete that quest. We'll just say basically that Sogahi handed it off to another Jedi that was coming here. And they dealt with it for us. Speaking of which, I need to check my mail. Blah, blah, blah. Madel, a new life. This is that woman who was basically forced to betray.
betray the Empire, or betray the resistance to the Empire. And the resistance wanted to kill her, but we stopped them. So, let's see here. We saved my life on Helmora. Nicolan would have killed me for betraying the resistance, even though I had no choice. I'm safely off Belmora now, and I'm not ever going back. The Republic has helped me start a new life. Colonel Finley warned me not to contact anyone from my past in case the Resistance tries to find me. But I had to write you one last time. You gave me a second chance. I know you don't want it, but I sent you something. Just take it. It'll make me feel better. Say hi to Doc for me. Oh, that's kind of sweet, actually. I rather like <clears throat> this medal. And I'm glad she was okay and didn't end up dead because of that unfortunate situation she found herself in. And uh, the rest of the stuff that was sent to us is basically spam. Greetings. You are cleared for the following travel routes. Be so, safe back there. to the Republic base, and then we are leaving this world. Okay, we're here. That became another time lapse, most likely. And cartel crushing. Goodbye. The Republic would normally bother with a planet this disgusting, but we need precious resources. We can't let the Empire pass. Indeed, Kara, indeed. We don't exactly want the Empire to have all this shit here. Let's... to my ship. Now, we need to use the Hollow Terminal. And I imagine we're contacting Master Braga, since he's the one who sent us to question the first Master place. Master Braga, your Padawan and the Republic base are safe. So. The Imperials attacked, but I drove them off. Sajar is turning himself into the Jedi Council. He confessed to committing war crimes against Imperial prisoners. I can't believe it. Rest assured, Master Satya will question him personally. I trust you'll show the proper discretion until this matter has been fully investigated. Okay, I can do that. By the way, a Sith tried to kill him. Someone who identified himself as the Emperor's Wrath. The Emperor's personal executioner was hunting your Padawan. He seemed more interested in meeting me, though. I sent him away empty-handed, but he said we'd meet again. What do you know about this Emperor's Wrath? Yes, the I'd like to that, that too. But little more. I'm sure his interest in you is related to the Darth Anquil incident. Our strike Just team is the pursuing name, a new huh? goal on the ice planet Shame. Hoth. We're up against pirates and Imperials there. We need your help. Hoth, Travel to Hoth pirates and contact and Jedi Knight Leha Nerez. She'll explain Wait. more. May the Force be with you. Master Braga, out. Alright. I've gained a bunch of influence with Kira. And apparently Doc wants to say something. I'll speak to Doc first, since he's bound to be the more annoying one. And we want to get that out of the way. But T7 also wants a word, so fine. Shafu's report recompiled. Nice work, T7. I knew you'd come through, T7. <coughs> Message from Republic Bureaucrat, human named Ekorn, member of House Bellies. 
That coin is an Imperial spy, Imperial sympathize. He's inside Republic, hit hid the list inside the estate. And where is he now then? I'd be interested in a chat. Any idea if this is Imperial spy is still active? <laughs> Died twenty years ago, his ship exploded above Alderaan, and it was ruled an accident. Wasn't Shafu killed in exactly the same way? That's an odd coincidence. I'm I am sensing a pattern here, T7. Both blown up, studying criminal databases, searching for bounty hunter using similar methods. Alert me if the bounty hunter is identified. Nice. And now, Doc, what did you want from me? Gotta say, this is one comfy starship. Never saw anything this cushy on the outer rim. Those fringers use rocks for pillows. And medical care? <laughs> Forget it. Colto might as well be a myth. Tough work being a doctor outside the core. Hmm. So, you from the core then? I take it you didn't start your career on Balmora. Born on Raw Tier. Graduated Coruscant University, highest honors. I could have gone home, had a safe medical practice, and died of boredom. But I'm a man of action. You have any idea how many people have tried to kill me for bringing quality health care to their planets? Yeah, sounds like... Definitely sounds like being a medic is quite dangerous work. Especially when you do it in a war zone. In my experience, helping others is hazardous to your health. Luckily for my patients, I enjoy a challenge. The frontier worlds are crawling with pirates, gangsters, and tax collectors. But they're no match for old Doc. <laughs> tax collectors? Not everyone needs a laser sword and wow. tricks to get out of a tight spot. Yeah, they do come in handy sometimes, though, you have to admit. I don't need them either. They're just efficient. Me? I rely on superior intellect and natural charm. It works every time. If I were you, I wouldn't leave the ship without me. Sorry, but I like Kira more than you, so you're out of luck, Doc. I need the Jedi Council's hollow frequency. Old Doc's gonna have a chat with your bosses. This code you people follow has you wrapped up tighter than the Emperor's shorts. It's not healthy. In my professional experience, enjoying life on a regular basis dramatically reduces your chances of falling to the dark side go ahead and explain your theory I'm all ears but I think the council would not be so inclined to listen I like most of them as long as they're not named master Jarek but that one in particular has a bit of a stick up his ass I have to admit and the council isn't much for compromise or listening to to other people's point of view. It's all their right, you're wrong, deal with it. So let's not get m mixed up in all that. How exactly would indulging myself lead me away from the dark side? That's like swallowing tiny doses of poison for an extended period. Eventually you develop a tolerance. I'm glad I'm around to keep things lively. The ship would be way too serious without me. Yeah. It would be funny to listen into that conversation, though. Just have Doc on Hollow with the Jedi Council lecturing them about how they need to change the code because it's I not helping. Oh, shut up, T C2. I almost called him T7 there for a second. Wouldn't that have been embarrassing? But now that we're done with chatting with Doc, we can have a word with Kira. As she still maintains her Funny post trivia. As my that gang on Marsha I wiped out, the Arkasags, tried to recruit me away from the refugees. Said I'd be better off with them. They had credits, food, cute little clubhouse. All I'd have to do is kill a rival gangster. Yes, well, I'm very glad you refused. I like having you as a friend sort of girlfriend and 
fellow traveler on this ship, and you probably wouldn't be a Jedi if you'd said yes. If you joined that gang, we probably wouldn't be here. Still the hardest choice I ever made. I'd been living in a cargo crate for years, eating leftover food from the promenade. Had the Force and Sith training to use it. Could have been running that gang if I wanted. Instead, I did the right thing. Mostly. Violence is wrong, I get that. But my friends are safe because the other gangs are scared of ending up like the Urkasags. Ironic. Yes, I have to say, it's definitely intentions that are the important thing here. You got that right, at least, Kira. And I can't blame you for what you did. Because honestly, I might have done the same thing in your shoes. You protected people you cared about. That's a good thing. Nice of you to say. Still don't know if what I did on Narshadal was right or wrong, but it was necessary. Okay. Conversation 2.0 with Kira. Been doing oh, some more reading lately. Oh, I guess. Amazing what's tucked away in the Jedi archives. Still hunting down exact details, but get this. The Council can grant Jedi the right to attach under certain circumstances. Heavily monitored, of course. Probably need a special license, but still, interesting. <laughs> Don't you get a it's little a thrill from going though. behind the Council's back? Who doesn't? But I worry about tarnishing my perfect reputation. <laughs> we wouldn't be the first, you know. I've even found records of Jedi who were married, had children. Not that I'm suggesting we, you know, I, I, I like things the way they are. If there's any chance we could have the same happiness as normal people, don't you want to try? Never said I was opposed to making changes. Mm, eyes are tired. Too much reading. Need to relax. Yes, I'll take care of you then, Kira. <laughs> Meet me in my quarters in two minutes. Actually, sneaking around can be kind of fun. I'm suddenly motivated to find out more about the Council's special permission. Let you know when I do, tough guy. Looking forward to it, Kira. Looking forward to it. Have to admit... Kira is definitely my favorite character thus far. Just so hilarious and quirky, and I love our conversations. But with all the sort of back and forth and flirting and stuff, I think we can officially say that she's definitely Sogi's girlfriend, and I can drop the sort of his girlfriend thing. But yeah, even if they're not telling anyone, they are dating, for sure. And we... <coughs> but I think we kind of enjoy doing things like that, in the sense that nobody gets... <coughs> in the sense that nobody knows. It kind of makes things interesting. But now, it's time for us to pay a visit to Hoth. Let's hope we don't meet the Rebel in this. I wonder, you think we'll encounter the Rebel Alliance there, or has General Veers already destroyed uh, their base with his AT-AT? Master Tall Braga sent me to help you. Wrong error, sorry. I already sorry. received word of your success on Balmora. Glad you're here. As if Hoth wasn't hostile enough, I'm contending with the Empire and White Maw Pirates of all things. Are you having some signal issues? You're kind of breaking up on my end. I'm getting a lot of interference on this end. What's the problem? The planet's atmosphere plays havoc with calm frequencies. We're lucky to have any signal at all. Hoth's one of the largest starship graveyards in the galaxy. During the war, there was a massive battle in orbit. Dozens of vessels crashed to the surface. Because of the freezing cold, they remained well preserved. Some are almost intact. You're hunting for something, though. What is it? Our objective's in that starship graveyard, isn't it? 
One of the crash vessels contained a full technical readout of the Emperor's fortress. A map of the bad guy's house. Nice. One of the Empire's top scientists during the war upgraded the fortress's defenses. He was the only non-Sith to ever see the inside. The technical readouts were lost when the scientists crashed here. His shipwreck has never been found. Do you have a lead? We're not gonna just dig in the snow and hope for the best, are we? No. Your job is to clear the way once I know where we're going. Those technical readouts are critical to infiltrating the Emperor's fortress. We will not fail. <laughs> I'm headed for the main Republic base. Take a shuttle to the surface and meet me there. Liha Norez out. Oh, that signal was really crappy. But I think it's time for us to meet with her on Hoth. Let's go. First, I'm going to stop off over here and get the droid and sell my crap. You are fit for duty. Return Quite to your Quite a lot of things that follow uh, that designation as crap, apparently. Okay. Shuttle pilot. To Hoth, Master Jedi. The shuttle is prepped and ready. We're just waiting for clearance from the station controller to launch. I've never even heard of this planet before. What should I expect? I hope you like ice. You've got your ice canyons, your ice plains, some ice mountains. Really? You ought to try to savor this delay. Every minute you're not freezing to death is a good one. Okay. But what's the Republic doing here? Doesn't exactly seem like a very valuable world. What's valuable enough to justify risking the lives of so many, just battling the elements? They don't tell me anything. All I know is, we lost something on this planet, and we're not leaving until we find it. Before I forget, you'll need this cold weather equipment. If you're lucky, you won't use it much. Everything checks out. You are cleared for launch. You should check in with the commander at Oric Base when we land. He'll be able to tell you a lot more about Hoth. Okay, I might do a side quest or two on this planet, but I'm not going to prioritize them. Sorry. Deal with it. Sorry I couldn't meet you. We've got a full-scale Imperial invasion on our hands. They caught us by surprise. On my way. Tell me your position. I'll come to you. I'm defending a forward outpost, but our support team is pinned down closer to you. I'm sending the coordinates now. You're looking for a detachment from the 301st Infantry led by Sergeant Rusk. His squad is being overrun by Imperial probe droids. I'll find your friends. A few probe droids shouldn't pose much of a threat. These droids are set to rush targets and explode when they get close enough. Have to hand it to the Empire. When it comes to killing people, they're innovators. Sergeant Rusk has vital information we need. I'm counting on you to keep him and his men alive. May the Force be with you. Gotcha. Rescue Sergeant Rusk and his men. 
we just stop by and speak to Laskin here. It's on the way. But I'm saying no to all other side quests. Master Jedi, I can't tell you how glad I am you've arrived. Welcome to Auric Base, what's left of it. I'm Lieutenant Laskin. Did Republic Command send you? Did they get my distress signal? I don't think your signal got through. The station seemed pretty calm. You don't know? If you're not here to answer my distress call, I, I don't know what we're going to do. We can't hold out much longer. An explosion in one of the speeder hangars knocked out main power. Within seconds, we were under heavy Imperial fire. Our shields haven't switched to auxiliary power yet. Without the shields, you must have taken heavy casualties. What you see here, Master Jedi, might be all that's left of the Republic presence in this area of Hoth. We still have men in the field on a critical mission, or we did when we were attacked anyway. Between the Imperials and the cold, I don't have enough people for a search party. Please, if you could head out there, you're their only chance. What makes you think they haven't already frozen to death? I know it's a long shot, but the mission they were on is vital. They were headed out to check the long-range sensors. With those running again, we'd have some warning before another attack hit. If you reach them, give them these. Fresh weapons and supplies. Then they might make it back. And thank you. Well, search and rescue mission. I have to say, that's one of the better types of missions given on these, <clears throat> rather than um, go out and kick some puppies. Okay, I'm exaggerating, but some of the things Master they wanted us to do Tatooine. back Will when... Make a decent planet with nice weather? <laughs> Not likely, Kira. Not fucking likely. And as I was saying, unfortunately... that some of the Republic missions have been rather dickish, like some of the ones they wanted us to do on Balmora might have been considered the equivalent of kicking a puppy. But in any case, I think I'm going to call this recording here. It's been a decent amount of time, so time to end her, I think. So this has been Dark Phoenix Ninja 92. You've been watching my Let's Play Star Wars The Old Republic, the Jedi Knight storyline. Thank you very much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time. If you've enjoyed this, then please leave a like, comment down below with any feedback, and subscribe if you want to see more like this, and I will catch you next time. See you then, folks. See you then.